Yeah, Allison, as these variants that are popping up all across the world becoming more pervasive, this now is clearly the front line in the battle against COVID-19. Laboratories just like this one. This is Stanford's virology lab where you can see researchers working around the clock. They've done so much work to try to staff up the operation here, tripling the workforce that is inside the labs just like this one, extending hours to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The sole purpose is to try to get more information on the virus and why it is so spawning these variants uh, so pervasively. And to do that, they have to, they have to like, take in a bulk amount of information. They do that by collecting as many COVID test samples as humanly possible. They're looking for those positive test results. So people that have tested positive for COVID, they take those samples, they study them, they break them down almost at a cellular level in a process called sequencing, where they can map the genome of the virus itself. That gives them a code which allows them to tell, oh, that one has the variant. So they're able to track it. They're able to tell local hospitals and local health departments who may adjust their guidelines, which is an incredibly important public service uh, for the people who are worried about these variants and specifically for hospitals that are already overloaded and fearing another surge. The biggest fear with all of this is that one of these variants, maybe one that's already existing or one we don't even know about, has the capability to sidestep the vaccines that are currently being given to the general public and ones that are even in development. And the only way we can tell that is by work like this. The reason why this is so important is because the U.S. has been far behind in sequencing the genome of the virus. We're something like 30th out of countries that are studying the virus itself. Uh, and so there's been a massive effort from the CDC to try to get more laboratories active like this one so they can get their hands around these variants as they pop up. It is a concerted effort, but one that is going to take a long time for us to catch up and prevent uh, another surge in case there is a variant that does what is considered to be the worst fear, which is sidestepping those vaccines. Incredibly important work and incredibly important to see how they're doing. Back to you, Alice. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.